I finished peeling my potatoes. I've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen potatoes that I peeled. I also have a sink full of skins. I like to take the skins out of the sink mostly. I even I have a garbage disposal, but uh, sometimes the garbage disposal will get overwhelmed and clogged. So I actually throw away most of the peels, and then the other rest I actually kind of flush them down the sink into my garbage disposal, and I run my garbage disposal. So that'll keep things just in case that it doesn't clog the drain. So obviously. Been doing this for a few years now. I gotta turn on my disposal. Alright, they're down the drain. Alright, the next step we're gonna do is we're going to then cut these potatoes. So I have this big old pile of potatoes, and now I'm going to begin to cut them. So to do this, I like to just kind of cut them into into chunks. That are maybe each potato gets cut into about eight chunks, so something like like that from one potato. Okay, and so I'm going to put those into the pot of boiling water. I like to put them in, you know, when I get a few of them done at a time. I have to take these brown bits and I have to chop a little, a little bit of the brown off um, when I do my cutting. So I'm just going to cut this whole big pile of potatoes. Now the interesting thing is when you do mashed potatoes. Sometimes an occasional potato is pretty bad, like it's got all these spots. Well, in the cutting stage, that's just when you cut off all these bad spots. You don't have to throw away the potato. Uh, you just uh, throw away the bad pieces. And I just get in the sink and I'll run the garbage disposal again. So I'll cut off the bad side from any of those. Of this whole uh, batch of potatoes, I really only had one of the potatoes that was bad like this. The rest of them are pretty good. So I'll cut that in half. Cut that in half. Cut that head off. Cut these slices, again, these potatoes going into, I don't know, about four, six, eight pieces. And cutting off the bad dark bits. Alright, so it's the cutting stage. I'm going to keep cutting some potatoes. Okay, now that I've cut the potatoes, I'm going to bring them over from the sink and I'm going to dump them into my pot. Okay, and again, it takes a while for my pot to boil, so I'm glad I started in advance. As I'm dumping these, if there's any trick to cutting these potatoes, I suppose I try to cut them so that they're all a uniform size, so each chunk is uniform. That way, the, all the chunks will boil and be done at about the same time. If I had a whole bunch of little ones and a whole bunch of huge ones, like an entire potato, then the entire potato would take longer to cook than the little ones. So I try to have them be the same size so that they're uniform in the time that it takes them to cook. Drop one potato on the floor. I'm not going to put it back in the pot. I'm going to rinse it off first. All right, rinse it off, and now I put it into the pot. So I'm just going to boil these, and uh, I'm going to put a lid on it. I have a, I have a special weird kind of rubber lid. This has uh, holes in the top, so that when the bo water boils up through here it will actually just kind of not overflow the pot. So that's what it allows it to do. It allows it to not overflow the pot. Because potatoes tend to tend to boil and overflow the pot if, you, if you're not watching it. Now while the potatoes are boiling, I like to get my mixer set up and ready to go. So that I have things in time and ready for the next step. So I'm just putting the uh, beater hooks on here. that light behind me might be a bother, but I, if I talk like this, block my head in it. So I got the beater in there, and there's nothing in here right now, but uh, while I'm waiting, what I like to put in there is, if I'm going to fill this pan or this bowl with potatoes, I'm going to probably use at least a half a, half of a stick of margarine or butter, excuse me, using butter. So I'm going to cut that with on my cutting board with a knife, and now I'm just going to peel it off, and I'm going to throw it into the bottom of this, that mixer bowl. So when the hot potatoes get in there, the hot potatoes are hopefully going to mix in with the butter because it'll melt the butter. Now, as far as the salt goes, the salt's kind of tricky, I guess. Um, you just kind of pour a bunch of salt in there, and I guess a bunch, if I 
were to define at, at the bottom there, I'd say that's probably uh, a teaspoon of salt. That's what I think it's a teaspoon of salt down there. And the pepper, I'm just going to... This is a little pepper grinder, and honestly, it doesn't make the pepper go as fast as I want it to go. But the problem is that my powdered pepper is all used up, so I have to use my grinding pepper. So it's probably not going to be enough, but... In fact, I can't even see the little, little things on the bottom there. But. And now the last ingredient for that will be milk. So the milk I'll just kind of pour in about that much. So I'd say if I were to estimate how much milk was in there, I would say... Uh, you can't see the milk without it pouring out. I'd say there is a quarter cup of milk in there. So now it's just a case of waiting for the, uh, the potatoes to boil, and then I'll strain them and I'll throw them in here and I'll start mixing them.